Hey there, biohackers and nootropic enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel where we unlock the secrets to peak mental performance. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on the latest in cognitive enhancement. Have you ever felt like you're running on empty, struggling to stay focused, or just can't seem to shake off that mental fog? Imagine a supplement that could supercharge your brain, enhance your mood, and give you the mental clarity you've been craving. Well, today we're diving into a powerhouse nootropic that promises to do just that, salbutiamine. In this video, we're breaking down the science behind salbutiamine, exploring its incredible benefits, potential side effects, and how it stacks up against other nootropics. And the best part, we've got all the studies linked in the description below, so you can see the research for yourself. So, if you're ready to discover how sulbutiamine can take your cognitive game to the next level, stay tuned. You won't want to miss this one. In the 1960s, Japanese scientists were investigating treatments for theamine deficiency. During this research, they developed a compound called sulbutiamine. This compound is also known by brand names such as Inerion and Arcalion. Sulbutiamine is created synthetically by chemically binding 2-thiamine vitamin B1, molecules together. So, what are the often most talked about benefits of this nootropic? Helps reduce tiredness. Sulbutiamine may help decrease feelings of fatigue and exhaustion. Could enhance mental function. It might improve cognitive processes like thinking and memory. Might protect the brain and nerves. This supplement could safeguard these systems from harm. Possibly aids digestion. Sulbutamine may help stimulate the digestive process. But are these benefits scientifically proven? Let's explore this more in depth by referencing studies proving or disproving these and more benefits of this supplement. Method of action. Sulbutamine may work by increasing thiamine levels more effectively than thiamine itself. Thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, is essential for glucose metabolism and proper neural function. By elevating theamine and its derivative levels, sulbutiamine may enhance these crucial bodily processes more efficiently than standard thiamine supplements. Sulbutiamine is thought to boost the activity of dopamine and glutamate in the brain's decision-making areas, such as the prefrontal cortex. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter associated with motivation, reward, and pleasure, while glutamate is the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain, playing a key role in learning and memory. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for higher cognitive functions such as decision-making, planning, and social behavior. By enhancing dopamine and glutamate activity in this region, salbutiamine may improve these cognitive processes. This interaction might support mental health by changing how glutamate acts on dopamine. Mental health refers to our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. The balance and interaction of neurotransmitters like glutamate and dopamine are vital for maintaining mental health. By modifying this interaction, salbutiamine may help improve mood, reduce anxiety, and support overall psychological well-being. Additionally, salbutiamine may reduce cell death in the brain by increasing glutathione levels. Glutathione is a powerful antioxidant that protects cells from oxidative stress and damage. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between free radicals, unstable molecules that can damage cells, and antioxidants in the body. By boosting glutathione levels, salbutiamine may help protect brain cells from damage and reduce the rate of cell death. Salbutiamine could also boost the brain's energy use by elevating thiamine triphosphate levels. Thiamine triphosphate is a molecule derived from thiamine that plays a role in energy metabolism. The brain requires a significant amount of energy to function correctly, and by increasing thiamine triphosphate levels, salbutiamine may enhance the brain's energy consumption, leading to improved cognitive performance. Finally, salbutiamine may support memory formation by enhancing activity in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is a critical brain region involved in forming, organizing, and storing memories. By increasing activity in the hippocampus, salbutiamine may aid in the creation and retention of new memories, potentially improving overall memory function. 
So what are the scientific proven benefits of solbutyamine? 1. Fights fatigue. Fatigue, characterized by extreme tiredness and a lack of energy, can significantly impact daily life. In a study involving 1772 patients suffering from infections and chronic fatigue, a combination of salbutiamine and anti-infective treatment was found to help alleviate low energy levels. Among these patients, 52% reported a notable improvement in mood and energy levels. In another study, 326 patients with chronic fatigue following infections were treated with either salbutiamine or a placebo. While some individuals experienced an energy boost from salbutiamine, the overall results were not statistically significant, meaning the difference between the salbutiamine and placebo groups wasn't large enough to be considered conclusive. Salbutiamine was also found to reduce fatigue by 44%, in a group of 341 patients with chronic fatigue. In another uncontrolled study, 40 participants with severe depression, anxiety, and fatigue were given 400 mg of solbutyamine daily for one month. The majority of these patients, 75%, experienced significant improvement in their symptoms. An uncontrolled study means there wasn't a comparison group that didn't receive the treatment making it more difficult to rule out placebo effects or natural improvements over time. A comparison study involving 36 patients with chronic weakness due to post-traumatic disorders tested the effects of solbutiamine against pyrocetam, another cognitive enhancer. Solbutiamine proved to be more effective in boosting energy and functionality than pyrocetam. Fatigue is also a common and debilitating symptom of multiple sclerosis, MS, a chronic illness affecting the central nervous system. In a study of 20 MS patients, treatment with 400 mg of salbutiamine daily for two months led to significant improvements in their energy levels. This suggests that salbutiamine may offer benefits for managing fatigue in MS patients. These findings indicate that salbutiamine may help alleviate fatigue and improve energy levels in various conditions, although more controlled studies are needed to confirm these effects. 2. Memory Improvement Memory, a crucial cognitive function, allows us to retain and recall information. Its enhancement can be particularly beneficial for individuals with memory impairments or neurodegenerative conditions. Solbutiamine has shown promise in this area. In a study involving 26 patients diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, solbutiamine was used in conjunction with donipezil, a medication commonly prescribed to treat symptoms of Alzheimer's. Donipezil works by increasing levels of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter important for learning and memory. The combination of salbutiamine and donipezil led to significant improvements in memory for these patients. This suggests that salbutiamine may enhance the effectiveness of established treatments for memory disorders. In animal studies, salbutiamine has also demonstrated the ability to improve long-term memory. For example, in experiments with rats, salbutiamine administration resulted in enhanced memory retention. This effect is believed to be due to the boosting of neurotransmitters, such as choline. Choline is a nutrient that serves as a precursor to acetylcholine, essential for many brain functions, including memory and muscle control. By increasing levels of these crucial neurotransmitters, salbutiamine may facilitate better memory retention and cognitive performance. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers in the brain that transmit signals from one neuron to another. They play a vital role in regulating a wide array of bodily functions and processes, including mood, sleep, and cognition. Enhancing the function of these neurotransmitters can lead to improved brain health and cognitive abilities. These findings indicate that sulbutiamine may support memory improvement by enhancing the activity of key neurotransmitters. Three. Treating Diabetic Neuropathy Diabetic neuropathy is a type of nerve damage that can occur in individuals with diabetes due to prolonged high blood sugar levels. High blood sugar or hyperglycemia can damage the nerves throughout the body but most often affects the legs and feet. Symptoms of diabetic neuropathy can include pain, tingling, and loss of cessation in the affected areas which can severely impact a person's quality of life. A clinical study explored the effects of solbutiamine on diabetic neuropathy. 
In this study, 15 patients with diabetes received a daily dose of 400 mg of salbutamine for six weeks. The results were promising, as the treatment significantly improved nerve and muscle function in these patients. Nerve function refers to the ability of nerves to transmit signals effectively. In diabetic neuropathy, this ability is compromised, leading to symptoms such as pain and numbness. Solbutiamine appears to help restore some of this lost function, which could alleviate symptoms and improve the patient's quality of life. Muscle function is also critical, as muscles rely on signals from nerves to move and perform various tasks. Improved muscle function means that patients may experience better mobility and strength, which is particularly important for those suffering from diabetic neuropathy. By improving both nerve and muscle function, Sobutiamine could offer a valuable treatment option for individuals with diabetic neuropathy, helping them manage their symptoms and maintain a better quality of life. 4. Treating Erectile Dysfunction Erectile dysfunction, AD, is a condition where a man has difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection sufficient for sexual intercourse. This can be caused by a variety of factors, including physical conditions like diabetes or cardiovascular disease, psychological issues such as stress or anxiety, and lifestyle choices like smoking or excessive alcohol consumption. A study investigated the effects of solbutiamine on erectile dysfunction. In this study, 20 patients with AD were treated with solbutiamine for 30 days. Remarkably, 16 out of these 20 patients experienced a restoration of their sexual performance. This suggests that sobutiamine might help improve symptoms of AD. The term restored sexual performance refers to the ability to achieve and maintain an erection that is adequate for satisfactory sexual activity. For those experiencing AD, this improvement can significantly enhance quality of life, as sexual health is an important aspect of overall well-being and intimate relationships. 5. Improving indigestion. Indigestion, also known as dyspepsia, is a condition characterized by discomfort or pain in the upper abdomen. Symptoms can include bloating, nausea, and a feeling of fullness after eating. Indigestion can be caused by various factors, including overeating, eating too quickly, consuming fatty or greasy foods, and stress. It can also be related to underlying health conditions such as gastritis, peptic ulcers, or gastrointestinal reflux disease, GERD. In a clinical study involving 33 patients who had undergone kidney surgery, sulbutiamine was found to restore normal digestive function. Kidney surgery can sometimes lead to complications that affect digestion as the body undergoes significant stress and physiological changes during recovery. Solbutiamine's ability to aid in the restoration of digestion suggests it may have beneficial effects on gastrointestinal function post-surgery. Additionally, tissue studies demonstrated that solbutiamine significantly improved gut flow. Gut flow refers to the movement of food and digestive juices through the gastrointestinal tract, which is crucial for efficient digestion and nutrient absorption. Enhanced gut flow can help prevent symptoms of indigestion by ensuring that food is properly processed and moved through the digestive system. Pretty neat list of benefits that are all science-backed, wouldn't you say? So what are the side effects of solbutiamine supplementation? In general, solbutiamine is considered to be well tolerated by most individuals, even when taken in doses up to 600 mg per day. Tolerance refers to how well a person can endure the effects of a substance without experiencing significant adverse effects. Side effects of solbutiamine are rare and typically mild. Some individuals might experience mild skin allergies, which could manifest as itching, redness, or a rash. These skin reactions are usually not severe and tend to resolve on their own. In elderly patients, mild agitation has been reported as a side effect. Agitation can include feelings of restlessness, irritability, or an increase in nervous energy. This is generally manageable and does not lead to significant distress. Headaches are another infrequent side effect associated with solbutiamine use. While headaches can be uncomfortable, they are often mild and temporary. So what are the dosage recommendations for solbutiamine? 
The standard dosage for sulbutiamine typically ranges from 200 to 600 mg per day. It is advisable to divide this total daily dose into two or three smaller doses to be taken throughout the day. By spreading out the doses, the body can maintain more consistent levels of the supplement, which may enhance its effectiveness and minimize potential side effects. For instance, if you are taking 600 mg daily, you might take 400 mg in the morning, 200 mg in the afternoon. This approach helps to sustain the cognitive benefits of sulbutiamine, such as increased energy and improved mental clarity, while also reducing the likelihood of experiencing adverse effects like headaches or sleep disturbances. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into sulbutiamine and its incredible benefits. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about optimizing your brain power and overall health, you absolutely need to check out my books on nootropics and biohacking available on Amazon. The links are right below in the description. For anyone serious about nootropics, my book, Cognitive Catalysts, is a must-read. It's packed with in-depth research, practical tips, and real-world strategies to help you enhance your mental performance and achieve peak cognitive function. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on the wealth of information in this book. But that's not all. I've got a range of books that cover everything from boosting your energy levels to enhancing your physical and mental health through biohacking. These books are designed to give you the tools and knowledge you need to take control of your health and unlock your full potential. So, make sure to click the links below, grab your copies, and start transforming your life today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. All the links to the studies I referenced and based this video on can also be found in the video description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay sharp and keep hacking your way to a better brain and body.